I think people like Joy had laid the groundwork that it made it exceptionally easy for me to move into positions that traditionally had been held by men in the Park Service. Um, many people way before her also have laid the groundwork, but traditionally women did not guide tours in the National Park here. Uh, and first, when they first started guiding, they even had to wear the skirts and high heels and hose. You didn't get to wear the uniform that I'm wearing today. So we've come a long way as far as even what we were allowed to wear once we got into the guide force. Um, but women, I think, had an important role in the park. Even in early times, uh, hotel managers' wives were taking people into the cave. But you may not hear about those stories very often, but we've got some great researchers in our seasonal staff now that are finding those stories. And some we've we speculated before that they were probably taking people underground, that it wasn't just the men who were going underground. But things have changed a lot over the years, and women are in more traditionally held positions that the men had. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not had any barriers in my career. Um, work very well with everyone, men, male or female. It's been a pretty smooth ride for me.